I know you're a big Vegas fan, Whitlock, so you definitely have to agree that I'm the odds-on favorite to win the MVP, right? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, again, I think Russell Wilson's going to win the MVP. That's who I would bet. Now, he's not hmm. the favorite right now, but again, it's like my racing analogy. He's in third place. He's got more gas in his tank. The other guy's got to take pit stops. And Ezekiel is pit stop is Dak Prescott. This is a quarterback league, and I love Ezekiel Elliott. He's been great. He's running through some of the biggest holes in the world. We're halfway through the NFL season. Okay, this kid, Ezekiel Elliott, just played in college football, where he got to play Purdue and Indiana and Minnesota. Maybe twice a year the Buckeyes face their physical equal. The second half of the season, watch Ezekiel Elliott's numbers. These running backs, we see this in the NBA. Guy plays 36 games. Then the second half after the All-Star break, those rookies... And not the same guy. This is halfway. In about two weeks, Ezekiel Elliott, Eric Dickerson told me this the other day, he goes, my rookie year, he goes by about week 12, I was not the same running back. Dak Prescott will get better at quarterback. Ezekiel Elliott will become less efficient at running Let back. Let me get a write-in vote. Dallas Cowboys offensive line. Would that be a cool MVP award? It, it would. would be. I'm going to push back against Eric Dickerson a little bit. Inter the practice rules have all changed from his era. And so running backs getting beat up, in games and not getting beat up in practice, the experience may be a little bit different for Could Ezekiel be, Elliott. But it's 16 games. Players have never been bigger and stronger, and they are leaning on him. 